What's up everyone, it's Sammy D here. This is Cart Life. Thanks so much for checking out this video. All things Mario Kart Tour here at Cart Life. Thanks to all my new subscribers. Thanks to Cart Tour on Twitter for the shout out yesterday. Really appreciate that. And thanks for all the kind words, everyone. Glad you're enjoying the channel. Um, total labor of love. Uh, you need like 100,000 subscribers to start making any money on YouTube. So um, we've got a long way to go for that, but thanks so much to everyone who's here. We'll get to 1,000 soon, maybe. That would be super fun, and we could do something special. So thanks for tuning in. I just posted this video right here of um, a big new update that the data miners have found coming to the game. All kinds of new features for the game. Spoilers, if you want to be surprised about what's coming in the game, Avoid that video, but I uh, hope it's okay. I shared some of the details that the data miners have found about what's to come. Pretty exciting. It's the calm before the storm, guys. It's the calm before the storm. And this time in Mario Kart Tour finds me very down and out because I'm just, I'm so down. I am unable to claim first in this ranked. It's only Saturday. We don't even have Monday and Tuesday sleepers coming in yet. And I know for a fact, I will not be able to get first in ranked. Not only that, I probably won't be able to get top three in ranked. This is crazy. I was not expecting uh, this to happen this tour. I got really kind of um, confident and cocky that I've been getting first in ranked every week since I think the first week of Valentine's tour. And it's felt really good, man. You get those 40 rubies a week in tier 40 at number one. I'm just, I'm so competitive and I don't want to lose it, um, but I might have to drop down. Here's why. So here are my scores so far. We're going to look at the ranked cup this week and give you some tips, show you a couple run throughs. They're not perfect by any means. Please check out Ghost Shiny Hunter on YouTube for his wonderful, perfect combo runs. I'll just show some pointers on what I've done. And actually one of my runs I record is my record run on Daisy Hills. That's 23-7. Shy Guy, I got 26, and then Remix Choco Island, which is really cool that I did this Remix track. It's basically a brand new track, 14.5. Uh, this is my leaderboard. Look at this, guys. So everyone was at like 62 something, right? And I was like, okay, I can get there. I, I got a few thousand up. I did my upgrades. That's the thing. I've already done some high-end upgrades. I'll talk about them. Um, I haven't done all of them. I still have some tickets, but at this point, I'm like, I don't even know if using any of my remaining tickets will get me anywhere near. Look at this. I need 8,000 more just to get into third place. And again, that's with no one moving around on Monday or Tuesday. So over, I would need 10,000 to take number one. And that's if this guy doesn't move at all. And I'm not saying that this guy is a whale because I don't see any exclusive things here yet, but put it this way. If you are a whale type of player where you're spending lots of money on the game, you are going to be in tier 40. So it might happen that every now and then in tier 40 only, you are randomly paired up with someone who just has so much more of an advantage over you, you'll never be able to catch up. It also might be that this guy, for example, or this gal, has Dry Bowser at level six, has Pink Old Peach at level six. Maybe those are the characters that this player invested in early on and took all the way. For me, that's not the case with those characters. The characters I invested in early on were Metal Mario, the Gold Collider I have at level six. Gold Koopa Freerunner for me is very high. I think it's at five now. Vacation Peach, for example, I only recently got. She was at level one going into this for me. And since she's top on Daisy Hills and she's also top on two of next week's Ranked Cup Tracks, which is the Baby Daisy Cup just announced. I figured this is when I need to invest in Vacation Peach starting now. And it's a good thing I saved some of those high-end tickets from previous tours when you don't absolutely have to use a ticket. Don't. And that's why I'm saving the ones I have left here, because I don't think I can do this. I might as well save them for next tour, basically, because I can't go into Jungle Tour with no high-end tickets. The way the tour is set up now, you have 12 cups, and to get the high-end tickets in the first week of the tour, you have to spend 20 or 30 or more star tickets, and that's in addition to playing through all the cups in multiplayer to get all the stars. And I already did that this tour. I got some of my high-end tickets. I needed the glider ticket so I could get the heart balloons taken to level two because that was my only glider for Chaco. But let's just go through, and I'll talk to the everyman here, the, the free-to-play player, uh, someone who's in the lower tiers, and we'll talk about what options you have for this week's ranked in each track. The good thing about Vacation Peach, if you do have her, like I said, she is in two of the top tracks next week. So this is a good time for me to put some tickets onto her. I've got two left. I could take her to level four if I want to go ahead and do that. But I think I'll just stop right here, see what happens next week. So if I go down to tier 39, 
I might not have as tough a competition and I might be fine with my level three vacation peach. Also top shelf for Daisy Hills for the rest of y'all. In addition to vacation peach, we have Daisy who's in the shop. The heart item is great for defense. So buy some daisies if she's your top driver. Baby Daisy, I was foolish and um, reckless and went ahead and upgraded her to five with a bunch of common tickets. But that bubble frenzy, it's just too much, man. The bubble is terrible. I cannot deal with it. I can't deal with the fact that you have a bubble in one spot on your items and you won't get a new item in that slot if you go over another item. It's terrible. It really needs to be fixed. Um, so I just can't deal with the bubble free frenzy. Even though she's level five, more bonus points overall than a level three high end, it wasn't getting me a good score. So I'm bailing on Baby Daisy, but if she's great for you and she's your best option, that's awesome. Also, if you spent on Black Yoshi, he's there for you. So let's say you pick Daisy or Vacation Peach, and in the cars, there are some good options, although they're pretty much all pipe locked or exclusive legacy items from past tours. The Zucchini is the one I ended up having pulled the most so far, and it is good because it's got Mini Turbo Plus. So that's at level three for me. I've got some tickets, but see, I'm always trying to wager these tickets I have now versus what these tickets could go for next week on a different cart or a different glider. You gotta always be looking at next week, looking ahead so you don't leave yourself completely stranded for next week. Figure out where's the optimum place to use each one of your tickets and even a batch of them. Uh, another good example is the Shell Glider here. So Shell Glider, it's in the shop. It's one of the only ones I haven't maxed out to six, but I'm starting to work on that now. So I've got it at level five and I could use all four of my remaining super tickets on this to take it to six. But then I go to next week and this is just an example of how you can think about it. And let's see, one of these tracks, I think it's Mario Circuit. Let's look at this. Yep, here's the oil paper umbrella. That's at level four and that is not in the shop. Can't get it at all unless I happen to pull it, which would be very rare. So honestly, these four tickets could be better used on this next week. So I would love to save them and not use them on the shell glider this week. See how this kind of works. You gotta figure out what's in the shop. I can only get this in the shop. So buy those, don't use tickets. So, but I can't find four more shell gliders in the next four days. So it's probably not even gonna happen. You just have to kind of like have all these things in mind. There's Yoshi, there's Daisy, there's the shell glider. There's all these things to consider, the flower glider. And you gotta wager, where am I gonna be able to get the most right now this week? Think about what you're gonna do next week. Keep all these things in mind, all floating around at the same time until you just give up like I am right now. Um, but anyway, Daisy Hills, yeah, that's the loadout we're looking at. Vacation Peach or Daisy, Zucchini um, Jump Boost is good. If you have the cheap green cheap charger at Jump Boost Plus, that's really, really good. Um, that's the only Jump Boost Plus cart in here. Next best thing would be Mini Turbo, or there are some dash panels. So if you have the Dozer Dasher or one of these uh, Bumblebee or Kabuki Dashers leveled up, that could be good for you too. So I'm doing Zucchini and then yeah, Shell Glider. If you got it, whatever the highest level is, you want the best combo time, you want the best bonus point boost. So these are both items that are in the shop and you've probably pulled them before. And then we have the spotlights, the flower, Daisy Flower and the Royal Parachute. I haven't pulled on the pipe yet. Another thing about my whole conundrum is I'm thinking, well, pulling is not gonna help me either. Doing some 10 pulls, I've only got what, two, three 10 pulls worth. And I don't think I can get anything I need. Um, and so I'm honestly, if Monty Mole's gonna be in the pipe going forward, I'm gonna just hope he is. I'm just gonna have to save. I'm gonna have to save, there's no point pulling. I'm gonna have to save my rubies and use them when I really can go deeper into the pipe to really guarantee I get something. All right, let's look at the run on Daisy Hills T and talk about a couple of things there. I know there was a lot of information, hopefully I'm not overwhelming y'all and you pick up some little things here and there. This again, not this is my record run, but it's sloppy in spots. And let me just point out some things that you can do. Obviously you're gonna boost here, try to get this coin, get through the pack with a couple of these items. You wanna to get to that log, make sure you get to this first log and then it is able to get every single log, it's possible. Um, if you hit this going hard left to the log on the left and hit the cliff right before the log, it'll steer you back out the other direction. You get that coin and head over to the next log on the left and then to the right. So check it out. Even if you nick the side of that log, by the way, just the very side, it will give you the boost. Um, back over here, try to get the coins in the center as well. A boost here will help you. A boost in between any log is great. Then when you release here, you've got to count on a coin happening or a frenzy. I got the frenzy. Um, 
And let me show you a thing right here. See how I'm aimed toward that dash panel? I was trying some crazy Japanese lines uh, on these, <laughs> these runs. This isn't the one where I got it, but if you go a hard right, and if you have a 20% combo time, you can get all these coins and then the dash panel and then set back on course after that. I was in frenzy mode, so obviously I was completely out of control. I thought I might be able to grab the dash panel and let the frenzy carry me through, but it didn't work out. Now, <clears throat> in this case, we know we have two paths, right? We have the ground path and the roof path. I did some tabulating and found that the roof path is by far the higher scoring path. I'll show you my tabulations after this. Um, the ground path though will keep you in first place. The roof path does let people get ahead of you. So you gotta factor that in. If you're trying to make sure you're in first, like if you're coming into the end of the race, you might take the ground route. If you're in end of lap one, you might take the roof route and see how many points you can get. Either way, when you come off the roof or when you get to this last jump panel thing, uh, jump mound, you can aim to the hard left if you're coming off the roof or if you're on the ground, aim to the hard right side, get two coins, and then you actually trick off the bottom of this right there. So that was another little thing I picked up from that crazy Japanese video going around last week. Um, you can also get two coins here if you want a hard turn to the side, keep that in mind. And again, going for every log here, this one, then to the left, this one, back to the right. One more here. I actually dropped combo, I think, here because I don't boost in time. No, I got it. This is a non-stop combo run. Um, and here's I get a coin frenzy. So this was my record run, two banana frenzies and a coin frenzy. And this is with my current, <laughs> I went for the dash panel again and missed it. So I'm in second here and I'm gonna wanna make sure I take the ground route because I gotta get first place. And I don't even know how this person slows down. I only have a shell, so I was really scared. He just kind of, I think I just passed him. I don't know. Anyway, that's my record, 23,000 something. So it is possible to keep full combo. Um, I did not have 20, that was 15% combo time with the shell glider. So hope you do okay. Next up is Shy Guy. And again, Dry Bowser is just not a character that I have invested the tons of tickets in. I put them all towards Metal Mario early on. I do have at level three, which is good. But if you're going up with someone against a level six Dry Bowser, it's gonna be really hard. Other drivers here, Daisy once again, and Daisy comes in next week as well. It is kind of a Daisy themed tour. You got Fire Bro and you got Chef Shy Guy, if that happens to be someone leveled up for you. Of course, the giant shell is going to be great for Frenzies. Hard to spawn. You have to kind of force it at the top of the level. I'll show you. But let's go drive Bowser. And then we do have some good options here. The Day Trippers, another one of my uh, shop items that I've been looking for. And again, I've got two tickets, but these are things that could go to the Zucchini. These are things that could go to something next week. I'm not sure how I wanna do it yet, so don't be impulsive with your tickets until you see what you can do. So Day Trippers there, Dash Panel, it's not great. The only Jump Boost Plus on Shy Guy Bazaar R is the new Rose Queen, which is, I think, locked behind the pay bundle right now. Also in here is the Dasher 2, if you pulled that from Mario Bros Tour, the Kabuki Dasher with Dash Panel Plus. And then this is in the shop, the Mach 8. I actually, funnily enough, have it at level one. I've never, got it after the only time I pulled it or bought it the first time. So you can buy that in the shop. But I'm going Day Tripper just because it's the highest level. And I do the Flower Glider at level six. I really recommend trying to max out your super gliders that are in the shop. They come up all the time. Flower Glider, Peach Parasol, Bomb Parasol, and the Shell Glider, although it's not quite as used as these are. We also have the Luma Glider and the BBIA. If that happens to be your only option from the shop, go ahead and buy a bunch of those. Banana is great for Banana Frenzies, just like the Flower Glider. So let me show you this run. I do feel that Dry Bowser is a heavyweight. I do think there's a distinction how they program this game. If you're a heavier character, it's a little harder to handle. I just think that's true. So that's my opinion. Now you want to burn out to start here if you want to spawn the giant shell frenzy. The best time to do it is at the start of the race because for the rest, you're going to want to try to front run for some gold coin frenzies, coin frenzies. Um, but in this case, I didn't do that. Uh, this is not a perfect run. I dropped combo, I think a time or two, especially at the beginning. It's really hard to keep combo through this opening stretch. Sometimes I just say, all right, I'm going to go for a giant shell frenzy. I'm not going to worry about combo until I start getting toward that ramp. Then I'll start my combo run. That's how I think of it. Uh, it is possible to get them, but you got to get the coins. You got to make it all the way there. And I was trying for 
kind of fifth to sixth place seems to be where the giant shell frenzy spawns the most. So I was trying to set that up and it didn't happen this time, but let's look at the rest of the run just for general lines. And again, I have 20% combo time, so keep that in mind. Start your drift early as you're going over these ramps so that you can release one right here and get to these coins. I usually either go for the first one if it feels safe or go right to the second one. Those pots are crucial to hit. This boost is pretty easy to get. Skip the first coin and just safely get that second one. That'll take you to these three. You can either release and steer kind of gently here or go ahead and start that next turbo. Release one and then you gotta count on a coin spawning right there. Another quick boost here, a very quick boost back. That's really tricky part to get through. Those two spots die very fast. I think my combo dies here because I missed that coin. Yeah, it does. So try to get those item ticket spot maybe there for you. You can get both jump boosts like that, but you risk overshooting the coins. So if you get both jump boosts, aim low into the coins. Now again, start your drift really early so you can have a nice release about there. Either boost through, in, in a lot of these cases, it's like you have to think in the moment. Um, like my plan was to go for that first coin, but the turn wasn't lining up and I was getting a little afraid. So I was like, I'm just gonna boost. And that happened to be my best option in that little nanosecond. So sometimes that's what you have to do. But thankfully there's three coins to get you something as you connect. Again, make sure you get the pots. I didn't release, I didn't get the pots, so I didn't make that. Um, so yeah, that's an important lesson there. The pots are gonna be important. I didn't get them and it cost me the combo. So yeah, if I'd gotten those pots, it would've continued. Now here again, I always skip this first coin. It just seems way off to the side. And if you get the second one, it sets you up nice for this little run. This is an easy little run to do. Um, make sure you, again, release here and then count on a coin. quick back and forth. It's really tough. Now that got me, it wasn't even full combo. It was 17, but that was my best run I had recorded. But in here, you'll see if I stall out and make sure I get sixth place or so, seventh or eighth place usually spawns more mushrooms than it does giant shells, which mushroom fringe is great too. But here's what a sixth place giant shell frenzy looks like. Getting lots of hits, but you do quickly, uh, enter first place so that's the only problem but it's it's the great it's the best time to get it um if you want to just try to stay in fifth and sixth for most of the race but everyone's going to be stealing your coins in that case and we don't want that remix Chaco, this one was extremely tough and dire for me because pink gold peach i still have never leveled her up i got her really early on but for some reason i never had to level her up so i never did i put it to other people so if you got a level six pink gold peach you're gonna crush on this one Yellow Birdo is top, and I did give her one ticket to go to level two for bonus point boosts, rather than putting a high end on Pink Gold Peach just yet, because for my high end tickets, I got Vacation Peach to consider and Dry Bowser to consider. And I just, I'm kind of giving up on this track because I don't have a top tier cart. That's really tough. But back to drivers real quick. If you pulled Monty Mole, great. If you pulled Daisy Fairy, great. Jealous of all of you. Uh, Baby Roz Detective, Yellow Birdo, Pink Gold Peach. I mean, these are all, none of these are in the shop. So these are all people you would have to have pulled at some point. Good luck. Coin Box, even if it's not level two, is gonna get me a lot of points. So I've been trying her and Birdo. But for the top shelf cart, you have this paywalled cart from last tour, the Wild Black with Mini Turbo. You got the Wildfire Flyer, which was in the 50 item pipe that I did not elect to pull for. Jump Boost Plus would be really nice to have on this one. And the Prancer, it's the current spotlight. I'm not gonna pull a 100 pipe just to try to get the Prancer. Chances are it's not in the first 30 pulls. It's just, it's a really, that would be a bad way of thinking to think I could go for the Prancer. So I'm not doing that. Going down to my second tier and really it's just pick your Jump Boost Plus cart. And that's my DK Jumbo, it's got the highest. My only glider I had was the Sweetheart Balloons, which is gonna be Spotlight next week. Also, we have the Pink Gold Paper Glider, which I think is in the, it's in the paid bundle. I forget if it's in the pipe. Uh, and then the Blizzard Balloons from Ice Tour. So I had this at level one, used my one high-end glider ticket to take it to two. 
and that's it. Let's look at the run real quick. Pretty great fun track and it's pretty easy to do a non-stop combo on. You just want to front run as much as you can, try for coin frenzies. It is a little bit of a shorter track. Um, I don't know, maybe people are pulling 20,000 if they've got high-end leveled up pink gold peach. Not me. Um, it's gonna be pretty obvious which ways you're gonna be aiming your drifts. Make sure you watch for these coin lines, three right there. Start your drift back to the right after these double ramps to get these three coins. Boost first, then the three coins or two of them. I don't go for that left pipe because it seems really hard to course correct to the right and then aim for the next drift after that, setting it up. So I just skip that one on the left and just get this jump nice and safe. Get the second one and the coin if no one's in front of me. Boost here, boost one more time and then steer through this section. Set up your next left drift. One more boost here, that'll get you to the bumps. Try to, they're hard to see, but just watch for them in the road. You can get five or six of them every time. And that's really nice. Boost here, ride these, aiming back to the left. So starting it out and again, one, I didn't start the drift early, but I knew the coin box would get me through. So there's that coin box, really great for extending you through a stretch with no other combo opportunities. One, two, three that time, very nice. I'm really worried about the super horn right about now. Go way out of her way to boost, boost back in. Red shell, it gets her and she doesn't trigger the super horn. I don't know what happened to that red shell. So this is a great run and of course the little chef's kiss at the end, a blue shell and I get fourth place. So 11-7, that probably would have been, it could have been a record run um, in first place, who knows. So it's tough, I'm just, I'm out, I'm out. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now. I don't think there's any point to trying to uh, do anything else for this rank. I gotta get 10,000 or 8,000 even place. Gonna go down to tier 39. Only problem is we'll then be playing for 35 rubies for number one and not 40 rubies. And it's a tough pill to swallow. I'm just so competitive and wanna stay there. Um, but hey, it happens to the best of us. I absolutely know that. And hope it's not happening for you. Hope you got a good loadout. How are you feeling about the jungle tour coming up? That's all for today. Y'all have a great weekend. Stay home, stay safe. And thanks so much for all the subscriptions, likes, and comments. Hit that notification bell as well to make sure you don't miss a video and send this to a Mario Kart tour friend. Talk to y'all soon. Have a good weekend.